Hello kids. How much fun was it to see Mr. Kildare yesterday? And didn't he do such a great job reading aloud to you? Do you remember when he first read aloud to us back in, I don't know, when did he first come in October? And now he reads aloud to you like a pro. I felt so happy to see him and think about him in our classroom. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. On Wednesday, I realized as the day went on that it was World Art Day. And I thought of this story by none other than my favorite author, Tommy DePaola, The Art Lesson. This is very much a biographical book, an autobiographical story by Tommy. Now, autobiographical biographical means that it's about the author. The author writes about himself. Auto means self and biography means book about life. So it's a book about your own life. So this is the art lesson. And look, look who signed it. To the DeMarco artists, love Tommy 98. That's when I saw him at that bookstore in New Hampshire when I lived in Vermont. New Hampshire was very close by. And that's where kind of the best shopping and the neatest towns were. So I went to see him there. The Art Lesson by Tommy DePaola. Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He drew pictures everywhere he went. It was his favorite thing to do. His friends had favorite things to do too. Jack collected all kinds of turtles. Herbie made huge cities in his sandbox. Jeannie, Tommy's best friend, could do cartwheels and stand on her head. But Tommy drew and drew and drew. Look, he's got pictures of all his friends. His twin cousins were already grown up and they were an art school learning to be real artists. Tommy told him, they told him not to copy and to practice, practice, practice. So he did. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls of his half of the bedroom. Looks like he shared a room with a brother or sister. Do any of you share rooms? Sarah and Leah share rooms and Paul and Nicholas share rooms. Only Elizabeth has her own room at our house. Even I share my room with Mr. DeMarco. His mom put them up all around the house. His dad took them to the barber shop where he worked. I remember once when Paul and Elizabeth were younger and they were very into art. I mean, they were probably like three and five years old, maybe four and six, and they drew and drew and colored and painted all the time and they wanted to have an art show in our house. So we did, we had an art show in our house. We hung string across the room and held it up with clothespins and we invited the neighbors and the grandparents over to their art show. It was a fun thing. I, we couldn't do it right now because it'd be hard with six feet of distance and social distancing, but maybe you could work on a lot of art now and have an art show after this is all over. I'm gonna suggest that to my girls who didn't get to be part of that art show so long ago. Tom and Nana, Thomas, uh, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to the photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. I'm gonna turn off this light above me, see if it's a little better. Once Tommy took a flashlight and pencil under the covers and drew pictures on his sheets, but when his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. His mom and dad were having a new house built, so Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. When the walls were up, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a bright blue piece of chalk. 
Tommy took the chalk and drew beautiful pictures all over the unfinished walls. But when the painters came, his dad said, that's it, Tommy, no more drawing on the walls. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother, Joe, told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have our art lessons? Tommy asked the kindergarten teacher. Oh, you won't have your art lessons until next year, said Miss Bird, but we are going to paint pictures tomorrow. His big brother, Joe, must be the one he shares a bedroom with. It wasn't much fun. The paint was awful and the paper got all wrinkly. Miss Bird made the paint by pouring different colored powders into different jars and mixing them with water. The paint didn't stick to the paper very well and it cracked. If it was windy when Tommy carried his picture home, the paint blew right off the paper. At least you get more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, his brother Joe said. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece. I remember this. I remember when I was in elementary school and for paint in art class, the teacher mixed the paint with powder and water and that's what we painted with. And it was pretty powdery and brushed off. I remember that. It wasn't always that way. Eventually we got bottles of tempera or poster paint. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to the school every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she wore a blue smock over her dress and she always carried a big box of thick colored chalk. Once Tommy and Jeannie looked at drawings that were hung up in the hallway. They were done by the first graders. Your pictures are much better, Jeannie told Tommy. Next year, when we have real art lessons, you'll be the best one. Look at those jack-o'-lanterns. They look a lot alike, don't they? I wonder what Tommy's thinking. Probably what Jeannie's thinking. Tommy could hardly wait. He practiced all summer. Then on his birthday, he, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes of crayons had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. This box had so many other colors, blue, violet, turquoise, red, orange, pink, and even gold, silver, and copper. Class, said Miss Landers, the first grade teacher. Next month, the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we will practice using our crayons. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school. Everyone must use the same crayons, she said school crayons. School crayons had only the same eight colors. Miss Landers passed them out to the class. She said, these crayons are school property, so do not break them, peel off the paper, or wear down the points. How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jack and Herbie. That's enough, Tommy, Miss Landers said, and I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them there. And Joe was right. They only got one piece of paper. Finally, the day of the art lesson came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of 64 crayons under his sweater and went off to school. He was ready. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Lander said, class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. And remember, don't ruin it because it is the only piece you'll get. Now, pay attention to Mrs. Bowers. Oh, don't you know how Tommy feels? Think about times in class when you were working on something and you messed up and you so much wanted another piece of paper. I hope that most times I said, okay. I think maybe I said, let's use something and reuse paper. I know sometimes you need more. Class, Miss Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn how to draw a pilgrim man and a pilgrim woman and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy me. 
Copy, copy. Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter, Miss Landers asked. Tommy looked past her and spoke right to Mrs. Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, and my cousin told me that real artists don't copy. And besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my 64 Crayola crayons. Well, well, Mrs. Bowers said, what are we going to do? She turned to Miss Landers and they whispered together. Miss Landers nodded, nodded. Now, Tommy, Mrs. Bowers says, it wouldn't be fair to let you do something different than the rest of the class. But I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim man and woman and the turkey, and if there's any time left, I'll give you another piece of paper and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try. Tommy looks happy, doesn't he? And he did. So he, there's his pilgrim man and turkey. And he did, and look who he drew. The art teacher, Mrs. Bowers. And he still does. And here he is. This is him in his studio. There's Strega Nona and other characters from other books. There he is, there's Tommy and his cats. Oh, I love those books by Tommy DePaola. I found my copy of the book, Tom. So I'll be reading that in the next few days. That's about his grandfather, Tom, who kind of teaches him to do naughty, fun things. So that's one of my favorite Tommy DePaola books. Well, we are having pizza for dinner tonight at our house. It's Friday. And we decided that we were going to watch the Star Wars movies. It's been a long time since I saw some of the earlier movies. Most of them I've only seen once, and Leah has not seen any of them. So as a family, during this time when we're all home, we are going to watch all the Star Wars movies. So wish us luck, and hopefully she'll like them because there's a lot to watch. And I hope you're doing well. Please work, keep working hard on Edmenton. You can send me messages right on Edmenton and I will write back to you. I've gotten a few from some kids and it's so nice to hear from you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.